My name is Kristen Pesco Salido. I am a compositor and a stereo supervisor at Industrial Light and Magic. I had planned on being a Muppeteer, an astronaut, or a physicist, and uh, in about that order. Um, ended up discovering film when I was in college after I had failed a calculus class. Um, well, I didn't fail the, the class, I failed the final and got a C minus on the class and that was enough for me. So I took an English class instead and then discovered that there was a filmmaking department there. I'm like, ooh, animation film, I can play with that. And thus the end of the physics career and more in the film career. So I ended up going to film school, to CalArts, where I still couldn't decide what I wanted to be. I was in the experimental program, but I was also experimental animation program, but I was also taking cinematography classes and auditing the acting classes. And ended up in visual effects quite by accident because I ended up getting really sick after my first year at CalArts and needed to pay off some crazy hospital bills. So I started working, um, doing rotoscoping at night and found out, wow, this is kind of fun. And then I didn't get any funding for my third year at CalArts. So I dropped out and started doing VFX full time. I'd started out at Paint and Broto, uh, found out I couldn't paint worth a damn. Do a single frame but as soon as it started moving it would just be pop 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 all over the place even though i'm an animator i just couldn't get that right uh, then after a few months uh, went into layout because that was brand new technology and you're like well you seem kind of technical you can figure this out uh, and in about eight months they made me head of the layout department so i ran layout at cinesite for about four years while i was compositing really enjoyed compositing a lot more than anything else. Meritocracy is a joke, is my counter argument for why hire the best. Uh, women quite often are forced out of their careers by harassment, by uh, negative job placement, before they can even get the experience required to work at a top level company like Industrial Light and Magic. So in order to get women and let them show that they can be just as good as men and to develop that talent pool and give them the opportunity to develop their talent pool, I think you need 50% ratio. Otherwise, women will constantly be um, criticized by the men around them and will probably be forced out early. I left one of my first jobs because I was the only composite supervisor there who didn't have a show. Um, and some of the male composite supervisors were doubling up on shows and not getting any sleep. But that was kind of an old school management at that company. And then I ended up going to Centropolis, which was really much more forward thinking, uh, also at ESC, also very forward thinking, never felt limited there. Then finally ended up coming to ILM and uh, we actually have a lot of women in leadership positions. Words of advice for future generations of women who want to get into visual effects or film. Keep pushing, do not let guys tell you what you can and can't do. Don't let them push you deliberately into say, oh, that's more artistic, you can do that. You can do anything you want. You can be a programmer, you can be a developer, you can be a layout artist, you can be a compositor, you can be a VFX supervisor. Uh, go ahead and do what you can. And if you feel limited by the company you're in, go to another company.